What is up, guys? Uh, thank you for joining me again uh, for th this video. If you like the content, please consider subscribing, like, and comment. I love the feedback, and I try to get back to everybody as quickly as possible. A quick shout out to uh, a YouTuber, uh, Dave. He's uh, his YouTube channel is Save America Vote Tulsi Gabbard. Great guy. Um, and if you like Tulsi Gabbard, if you want to hear her. His his uh, channel is dedicated to her. Fantastic growth. He had he's growing like crazy, and I suggest you go check him out after this video. Uh, right now, I want to talk about uh, Tulsi Gabbard has has a bill, um, America's Election Act, and basically it is is having voter certified paper ballots throughout the country. And in all 50 states. And I think this is, it's an important, important bill. Because uh, for years now, we've been hearing about collusion, hacking, hacking, Russia, this, blah, blah, blah. That we need to protect our elections. So now we have, I know there was other, somebody pointed out to me uh, that there have been other people that have... Um, proposed paper ballots but right now I'm talking about this presidential election uh, and, and Tulsi actually came out in an interview talking about it and I'm going to show you a clip right now and let's check it out real quick and we'll talk about it. Mr. Speaker, the Department of Homeland Security has confirmed that 21 state electoral systems were targeted in the 2016 elections revealing vulnerabilities and jeopardizing the integrity of our elections and our democracy as people lose confidence that their vote matters and that will actually and accurately be counted. In 2016, DEF CON, the world's largest hacking conference, revealed startling vulnerabilities in our elections infrastructure. We must take action now to safeguard our electoral infrastructure, ensure that each and every American vote is counted accurately. I'm introducing the Securing America's Elections Act, which will not only provide the American people with a voter verified, reliable, and independent paper record of their votes that can be implemented before the 2018 elections, but will also address the effectiveness and security of our electronic voting software. We must act now to secure our elections and renew our citizens' faith in the integrity of those elections. I yield. So this clip is, is pointing out the problems with the electronic voting booths and, and how easy it is to hack. You know, there was a story that the, a 14-year-old girl actually hacked in to uh, one of the voters, uh, uh, the voting booths, and 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 switched votes. Uh, I believe I, I I haven't. The article is slipping my mind, but. It showed you, I think she, I believe she did it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. She hacked in like 15 minutes. It took her 15 minutes to hack into one of the voting um, uh, voting um, booths. And that just shows you right there that if you, it, 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 and this is not a right or left middle issue. This, ha, this is an American issue. If you really think that we need to protect our elections, this is a no-brainer. It should have 100% 100% voting, straight through, passing, and making it a law that we should go back to paper ballots. It should have an independent, uh, 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 ind um, independent company come in at least twice, two, three times, somebody counting the votes. I really don't care how long it takes to, to, to count these votes. It should be counted as many times as possible so we have a fair election and know that every American's uh, vote was actually counted and not hacked or given to a, a, another candidate that they never even voted for. There was videos of people, you know, pressing the button and uh, it would go to the, the next, next candidate because there was something going off with the software on the screen. So we can avoid these issues if we go to paper ballots. And I, I fully support going to paper ballots because it, 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 it's, most, it, it's one of the safest ways to prevent hacking. If there's no software to hack, there is no hacking. 
So I, I, I did a video on, um, on Twitter, a quick video talking about it. Like, why hasn't more representatives, our representatives that they get paid with our tax dollars, why are they not signing on in droves to be part of this bill? And, and it got good, it got good traction, a lot of retweets, a lot of, I, I told people to retweet if you agree. I got a lot of retweets and it's, it's uh, a lot of positive comments to it, to, towards it. And one, one uh, person actually uh, commented on it and it, it made a lot of sense to me. He basically was saying, uh, I, I should have wrote his tweet down, but I'm just going to paraphrase it. Uh, he, he said that the best Congress money can buy has no interest in, give, in, in, in voter, uh, voter rights. They rather control 30% than 90%. And I thought about it, and I was trying to think about I, I understood the first part. I know lobbyists, the military-industrial complex, the deep state, or whatever you want to call them, runs our government. I really, we, we know that. That's a fact. Uh, whoever de denies that, you have your head in the sand because it's all over our government. Uh, the writing's on the wall. You know, uh, 80% uh, support on uh, raising the minimum wage. We don't get it. Even states that put it on provisions, they pass it, and their uh, governors that oppose it don't even put it into bill. You know, he vetoes it. So the people want change, but our politicians that we put in and pay with our money are not listening to us. They're listening to the elites. And I suggest you follow uh, Lee Stranahan. He's a populist Republican. I know he's a pop um, Republican, and this is a, a progressive type channel, left leaning channel. But he, I follow him, and I try to. Uh, he opened my eyes to a lot of things that's going on with uh, the real Russia Gate and uh, um, the Ukraine that the DNC actually was. Um, colluding with the, the Ukraine to um, overthrow uh, Donald Trump and things of that and, and things like that but he he said it best in one of his periscopes he said the elites in Washington don't care if you're left or right it's all about money and power it's a, it's the elites against us and and the faster we know that the faster we can actually do something about it it's, it doesn't matter if, if I'm, I'm a liberal and you're a conservative. They don't care about that. What they care about is power. And how do they get power? They divide us up. They make us hate each other. They make us, uh, they feed us, they spoon feed us media that, oh my God, this person's bad, this person's bad, this is racist, this is this, this is sexist. And they divide us up. And it's easier for them to control us if we're all divided but if we're all together in one team they can't control us so this is one of the reasons i i, I made i made the channel a couple of years ago i started the channel because of bernie sanders waking me up to uh his political revolution now i'm doing it because of obviously i i i support bernie Tulsi Gabbard, Andrew Yang. I want the, the I want the most voices possible to be on the stage to drown out all the corporate Democrats that are, are going to tell us the same old milk toast bullshit Republican like crap. We're done with it. We're done with the fake. I mean platitudes and 1992. Um, Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk says it best. This is not 1992 anymore. We want policies. The American people want policy. They are policy driven. The majority of us are policy driven. What are you going to do for me? There's no more of, I want, I want good things, I don't want bad things. Okay, what are your policies? Do you support this, 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 and this? Uh, bye. This is where we're at now. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, why, well, not figure out, I know why. It's money. It's money in politics. It's money 
the lobbyists don't want you to have actual voter rights. They're stripping them away and stripping them away and de-enfranchising people uh, f to not want to vote anymore. Lower, we, we have some of the lowest um, um, turnout in the world. Local elections, state elections, I mean, uh, presidential elections, low, low, low. Because people are so fed up. People think their vote doesn't matter. And we need to break that mold. We need to break that narrative. We, we, we need Tulsi's and other politicians coming with Tulsi and getting her bill passed so we can go to paper ballots and actually have fair elections. And we need to force the DNC to get super delegates out of the, our political sphere because that's definitely not democratic. There's no way in hell that a super delegate's vote is more powerful than mine. It should be the case that if my or yours, if they win the primary, they get the most votes, they should win that state. It shouldn't be like 2016 where Bernie wins, wins Minnesota on votes, but the superdelegates chose Hillary Clinton and she won the way. She won, ended up winning the delegates. That shouldn't happen anymore. It should be by the voters and only the voters. If you still want um, Tulsi Gabbard to be on the debate stage, which I do, please go to Tulsi2020.com. She's almost there, guys. I think she's cra she cracked on, on um, 50,000. She's about 55 now. We need 10,000 more. Please donate a dollar. Tell your friends, your brother's former cousin's roommate. I don't care who you do. Get her on the stage. We need the voices on there. And please comment, subscribe, and like the video. Share it. Get it out there. And tell me if you think about, what do you think about paper ballots and getting actual fair elections? Anyway, guys, peace.